vile creatures! Cut them down!
little morsel. Mulam Nir would talk to you. Mulam Nir wanted to thank you, little morsel. Your actions helped set us free of our hated prison. Now, listen to the words I say. Mulam Nir wants you to understand the challenge before you. Our puppet, Eurexia, commands a legion of soldiers, an army of necromancers, and a horde of undead. Add my dragon brothers, and the hopelessness of your cause becomes obvious. You and Abnathon set us free. You released us from the halls of Colossus. For that, I offer you this one last chance to survive. If you and the Battle Mage leave elsewhere, my brothers and I will not hunt you down. Then you will die, but not before we slaughter your friends and set fire to elsewhere. Once we reduce this land to so much ash, only then will I tear you apart. So promises Mulamnir, whose claws have dealt a thousand deaths. Leave elsewhere, little morsel. Tell the battle mage, if I see you again, you will die. Five Claw, are you all right? I heard what the dragon said. Perhaps my confidence was a bit misplaced. That creature was much bigger than it appeared when it flew over the camp. I never jump without first knowing where my feet will land. Also, I have very sharp claws. We lost so many today. The dragon, that Mulamnir, it has much to answer for. We defeated the necromancer and shut down one of their undead foundries. We need you and Tarn, despite my dislike of the man. But what the dragon intimated about Euraxia... It called her its puppet. Mm, I fear the dragons control the Rimen throne now. Yes, you must do that. I will join you after... After I take care of the remains of my soldiers. They died bravely and deserve to receive the proper sacraments. Go to Riverhold. I will see you there. 